Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video was meant to be a Quick Tip Tuesday video, but it's Wednesday. So now it's a Quick Tip Wednesday video. Basically what happened to my last video is this. Yep, I recorded the entire video and the mic was not working so there was absolutely no sound and then I left for Nashville to visit my friend over the weekend and I got back on a Tuesday and I was like perfect, I'm gonna be able to edit this and get it up and then I realized there was no sound. But anywho, long story short, that is what happened. This video is going to be on the topic of gym hair and you probably saw the title and were like, what does she mean by gym hair? And I'm talking about when you go to the gym and you've freshly done your hair and now you're like, okay, I'm not ready to wash it because technically, for those of you who don't know, you're not supposed to wash your hair every single day, even though I know people that do. Um, with my hair type, which is really dry and brittle, naturally, I don't like to wash it every single day. I like to extend it up to three to four days, depending on how grimy it gets by day three or four. And it is a huge struggle trying to keep my hair looking fresh when I go to the gym every single morning. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my little routine that I've developed to try and keep my hair looking fresh when I go to the gym every day. Oh, and I did decide to keep this makeup look really natural, um, the look that I'm wearing right now for this tutorial because I wanted to give the effect of a, or like I'm going to the gym, even though I would never wear makeup to the gym. And I am wearing a gym shirt, which I will talk about later. But anyway, if you're interested and wanna see what my routine is, keep on watching. Okay, first of all, whenever I go to the gym, I always wear a top knot. One, I feel like it's a hairstyle that doesn't get in the way. It gets all the hair up and out of the way. I like to do a lot of jump roping, so sometimes if I wear my ponytail, my hair is really long that it gets caught in the jump rope. And the second reason I wear a top knot is because I find that it maintains the hairstyle that I tend to always wear, which is pretty much this. It's kind of like a blowout. Um, I have a video on it, I'll link it here. Also, my most recent Get Ready With Me video is how I typically style my hair and I feel like a top knot maintains the style, which leads me to the next topic, which is how I do my top knot exactly that I wear to the gym. Rather than tie it in a tight ponytail, I wrap the hair around the top of my head and then pin it with bobby pins. And some of you are probably thinking, how does that possibly hold your hair up during a workout? Trust me, I have a lot of hair. It's really thick and really heavy and just a few bobby pins can really hold down my bun and it looks exactly the same when I arrive and when I leave. And the bobby pins I use have a rubberized material on them so I feel like they have a really good hold. Other bobby pins that are really great are also those ones that you twist into the hair. I feel like those work really well and you end up using a lot less. I'll also use bobby pins to hold back the bottom of my hair because on the back of my head, down here, I feel like I have a bunch of little a bunch of shorter hairs that will tend to get really sweaty and nasty from all my neck sweat. I know, this is getting really attractive. <laughs> um, but I'll usually pin those up so that they don't get really sweaty and nasty during a workout. And by not using a hair tie and using bobby pins instead, I prevent my hair from getting that dent right in the middle that is really hard to get rid of later. Also, those hair ties that they make that are more so like an elastic band um, I don't know how to explain them. They're like a nylon hair tie. Those don't hold my hair up. My hair, like I said, is really heavy, so I've tried those, the ones that are supposed to not give your hair a dent, and, oops, let me turn that off. I've tried those before, and those do not hold up my hair for the life of me. They're too loose, they just, they don't work. But the top knot and bobby pins work like a charm every single time. If you have really short hair that doesn't fit in a top knot, you can still do a bun, but a lower bun. I feel like that still works or sometimes, like say for example, you just left the salon and you have a fresh blowout but for some reason you still wanna work out normally, that would stop me. I would literally just go home and be like, my hair's too fresh, I'm not going to the gym. But in case you still wanna go um, and you don't wanna pin your hair up at all, what I like to do is then I'll use one of those elastic hair ties, the ones that don't hold my hair up, just to get the hair out of my face and I'll wear one of these gym shirts, so that's why I was mentioning this earlier. Um, dog's furs everywhere. I'll wear one of these types of gym shirts, the ones that are like a turtleneck, and I'll actually zip it all the way up so that way all that sweat from your neck doesn't really get on your hair. <laughs> I know this sounds like a little much, but for those of you who love the gym like I do, but still also want to look fresh and not want to wash your hair every day, this is really key. All right, so now on to post-workout. So once you've taken your hair down, you've gone all the bobby pins out, it should have a natural wave to it. However, your hair is still going to be slightly wet or moist. I hate that word, moist, from all the sweat, especially 
in the back or the middle of my head. So what I like to do is blow dry my hair. And my gym has pretty awful hair dryers, they're not the best. Plus they don't have that little um, attachment at the end. So I love this T3 micro hair dryer if I need to blow dry my hair at the gym. If not, I just use whatever hair dryer I have at home. But I love how powerful this tiny hair dryer is and how it comes with the nozzle. So I'll use this hair dryer with the nozzle attached to pull my hair and sort of blow dry it and straighten it at the same time. I'll also use the cool setting to really get into the middle of the uh, back of my head to dry out that area. So I'll use a combination of the hot settings and the cool settings to dry my hair and to depuff it and really smooth it back out. Once my hair is completely dry, I'll touch up certain areas that need to be recurled and especially my baby hairs. Even with the hair dryer, they still look crazy after a workout because they get so sweaty, as we all do around our forehead, that they tend to just stick up and look crazy. So I love using the T3 Micro Straightener. It's the same thing as the hair dryer, except a straightener. So there are many versions of their bigger counterparts. But I really like how tiny this straightener is because I don't own a normal sized straightener because I never straighten my hair ever. So I really like how tiny this one is so I can get in and just straighten those little baby hairs when I need to. And finally, the last thing I'll do is go in with some dry shampoo if it's needed. I don't do it all the time. I only do it if my hair feels oily because the hair dryer has taken care of the sweat and the wetness of the hair. This is more so for the oils. A dry shampoo I really love is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. I find that it just gives a really nice cooling effect to the scalp. It absorbs the excess oil without making your hair look gray or weighing it down. It smells really good, so if you feel like your hair smells after the gym or just feels a little extra dirty. This dry shampoo is awesome. I get it at Target and it's really affordable. I think it costs like $6. And that completes my routine. I know it sounded long, but honestly it takes me less than 10 minutes to get it all done. It definitely takes less time than showering and washing my hair. I mean, no, wait, sorry. I still shower. I mean, I just, then washing my hair. It takes a lot less time to do this routine than it does to actually wash my hair. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on how to wear your hair from day one when it's fresh and styled up until day four so you guys can extend the amount of days you go without washing your hair. I know that's a big concern for a lot of people so let me know if you guys are interested in that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys.